To recap then on what is still needed, uh, the back piece, we still need to finish cutting for the socket boxes. The top glass frame, we want the dowels to secure it. The sub base, we need the dowels to go into the front. The ones that we're going to go into the back, I'll be leaving that until we're doing the assembly, so that I can make sure they're accurate. And lastly, drill the holes on the draw blanks. So I'm going to start off by cutting the slots for the boxes, these socket boxes. Next to the dowling, we've got the glass frame top and the sub top. Um, with this one, that's back, that's front, I only want to put the dowels in the front and I want to put them facing that way into the main body, which will come into the legs at the front section. Um, on the top, as we said, I want one either side of the joint to fit in. Now if I put them on there, I'll get more people that won't know where they're going to be. So I need to put them onto the legs themselves um, and get them accurate when it's all cramped up. So in this instance, it will be better to leave that part of it until we've got to the assembly. Doing it by hand because obviously it's quite difficult to put it into the uh, drill press. And next we drill and countersink the holes for the draw lines. Um, I've set up in the drill press a pilot hole with countersink so I can do everything in one action. And just one at each end. That's it. Now let's do some final sanding where I've done filling and switch things and then we can get on and start assembling at last. Right, well that's everything sanded down. Um, apart from the drawers, which I can give them a, a final sanding down before I put them, before I do any um, finishings when I have assembled this lot. Um, but now, I actually believe we're ready to start doing some assembling.
And at this stage, check it for square. Pretty damn good. Okay, now remember I said in the back we're going to put dowels in um, right the way through. What I've decided on, a little change, is instead of putting dowels in, I'm just going to counterbore it for plugs um, and then put some screws in, which will pull everything good and tight together uh, and a lot quicker setting. So I've just sunk some holes in, ready for the plugs. Now I want to just counter drill it for the screws. Good long screws. That should be it. It's going to be no movement from that at all. That's mighty fine, is that? And the next part is putting on the frame for the top, um, which we need to be quite careful in its positioning. That is just formation of the corners that will go when I clamp it in. Right, so what I will do is drill first in the top where I want the downs to be in the mitres, so there. Here's the same down setup as before. I'm going to go in the outer diagonal corners. That way it will give me either side of them mitres. Just coming in 20 mil and go down. Now then, decide what I want as the front. So that one looks nicest, best green. And now we've got to place this on very carefully, putting no pressure down until we get it lined up. Perfect. Now, pressure and that's the bump. I'll move it further. And to that inside where the leg's going to go, I'll put a little air. Not to get rid of it then. Sand it off anything. And off where. The front is. Okay, now I'm going to put it to the drill press and drill out and put the dowels in then. Thank <laughs> you. 
but I've just put the dowels in to the top there because I'm just going to dry fit it now and just make sure everything's good. seems to be perfect. Okay, now we need to turn the whole thing over and do the jaw glides. When we made the jaw glides, the front is slightly bigger than the back. So that's easy enough for us to position. Now also, we made the markings on the timber and that mark was at the bottom of the draw blind. As we've got it flipped upside down, it's on the top, so it's very easy for us to see. I think I'm going to do this best. I need to be up there looking down. That one to there. Right, and it will be wonderful if these were all perfect the first time, but, well, I'm not going to guarantee on it. And that's one side done. Let's give them a try, see if they fit. Comes the upside down. If they don't fit, let's see how close they are to fit. And there you can see for the first time the whole thing put together. The glass bits in there, lovely. I've got ample space there for putting me uh, gadgets and I can see them without them being in the way. The three drawers are all fitting nicely. I've still got to sand them down and put the handles on them. Uh, but a nice shape. And the back, there's a nice sporting panel at the side there. And at the back there, we have the three inset boxes ready for the socket face plates. <coughs> the wiring will be inside behind the drawers, nice and tightly done. And and sockets will go on there and at that point I can either plug in a transformer and put the wire up under and into a drawer and have a little clip there to keep it there or I can have it up here up here ready to just plug my tablet in or phone or whatever and leave it there so it can either charge inside the drawers or it can charge up on here readily available um, now there is a couple of other little things that I'm thinking I want and that is, I have a set of headphones, Bluetooth headphones, which I use for my appliances for um, tablet more than anything else, um, my iPad and such things, um, and that's rechargeable. So again, it could do being on here, but back get that much on here, it's just going to get full and cluttered and pointless. Um, so I'm thinking the headphones, I might put a little hanger here, a wooden one, where it just sits there, um, and the charger can just nice and simply in there. And I'm just talking to the wife and she has a, a, a tablet which is oh yeah, a small 18 inch one. Um, whereas mine's quite a size. It's a, mine's a tablet PC. One of these fold rate combination ones. Um, hers is just a small one. Um, and this being her side sort of thing from the situations that we have. I thought why not make some kind of a little pocket thing here the her tablet, plug it in and just drop it in there and it'd be easy for her to lift it out and drop it back in again nice and simple and it keeps that clear um, I could possibly even do it for the phones at the sides 
She has a poem. I have two poems. You read it. But for business, I need two poems. So if I could get my headphones here and my two phones, I don't know. There's one of them. It's a little... Something else to look at. So while I'm doing the finishings, these things may be getting added and screwed on later just to add to the usability of it. Because at the end of the day, it is being made to make things easy for me with my gadgets. So whatever little intervention I've got to do to make it easier, I will do. Okay, so that's it. That's the table made. I will give you a picture when I've done the finishings just to let you see what it looks like. But I think we can say that's the end of the video. Let's wind it up, call it it, and I'll do you a little introduction at the end um, when I've done all the little bits and bats that I want to do before I take it into the house. Oh, well, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Um, I hope maybe you've got some incentive from watching me do it, and maybe you want to go and do something yourself, but um, whatever, if you've got any questions, just send us a message at the bottom of the video. Um, like it, if you like it, be honest. <laughs> Um, and of course, subscribe to me. I need some more. I'm getting near the thousand, my first thousand. So the more I can get, the better. I want to get over there. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.